Let's talk a little speculation this video, boys. What is the Man 24 meta going to be on offense and on defense? I'd like to revisit this video in like nine months or so. So one of you guys just remind me in nine months or just tell me if I'm an idiot, if I'm right or wrong. All right, boys, mark someone marking in their calendar. Okay. Be able to play the beta a good amount. Uh, now the actual game will play different from the beta. Sometimes it's drastically different. Sometimes it's similar. But what you can kind of tell from the beta is some gameplay mechanics, okay? And what we are immediately able to see, both from the beta and kind of what they showed in the trailer, is that quarterbacks rolling out, quarterback movement is way smoother. They accelerate way faster getting outside the pocket. This past year in 23, they were very clunky when you tried to hold RT and get outside the pocket. And what I believe is going to happen early is that you're going to see a lot of these schemes that revolve around getting outside the pocket, hitting deep crossers, hitting deep corners, uh, hitting deep posts and stuff like that really be effective, okay? You're going to see a lot of formations using tight ends to help seal the edges, right? And be able to really take advantage of contains. What I don't think we're going to see, at least until maybe a game-breaking ability comes out, which is just, it's so early to be able to say if there will or won't be, is I don't believe we're going to see something to the extent of Man 22's Escape Artist, okay? I believe they have totally gotten rid of Escape Artist, or, like, they, they don't want that to happen again. It's an X Factor. It's not a, it's not an ability, right? It's an actual X Factor. And truth be told, a lot of people forget that Man 22, before Escape Artist became popular with King Henry quarterback card in Mutt, or if you, before, you know, people didn't really play a ton of regs, um, you know, uh, rolling out of the pocket was not super OP, uh, really, that happened in about December, where it became really, really op uh, overpowered and really, really meta. Look, if you're tired of losing games to John Madden football, my website, civil.gg, will give you the tools you need to start winning more games immediately. Between having the best ebooks online on both offense and defense, tips that are known by only the top 1% of Madden players, and a community of people just like yourself who are also trying to get better, code PREMIUM will get you 25% off, and you'll get instant access to literally everything. It's linked in the top description. I've been playing professional Madden for the past four or five years now i've helped thousands of nine players win more games and i can help you too again link top of the description i'll see you inside i think we're gonna see it become popular early on in the year but then what i think is gonna happen on defense is i don't foresee slot corner blitzes being as good from how we remember them in madden 23 this past year right Man 23, if you're in dollar or something, you could press your dollar corner, your dollar slot corners. They'd be about five yards outside the tackle and then come in on like an angle, get to the quarterback. What I believe is going to happen is that rolling out is actually going to make those guys kind of unnecessary. And I also believe that the best way to utilize those guys is actually dragging them in and putting them kind of outside the defensive ends or outside the outside linebackers and putting them in contains. These are the best style of contains pretty much year after year is these slot corners being put in, in, into contains just outside the defensive ends or outside outside linebackers. Now, there's a chance there's also a loop blitz that comes from this where you have, you know, either the DN coming free off the edge, coming free at the, uh, the CEF, or the slot corner coming free off the edge. I don't know if there is. Obviously, a lot of patches can change that. But I do believe we'll see that as kind of a standardized meta. If not, just seeing 335 wide, which is now nickel 33 cub, uh, just be the meta that has been for every single year for the past three or four years. I expect that's a formation, nickel through the cub, where if you want to get good at one formation, just learn it and never have to change, really. That is a formation that you can get pretty decent at. And the thing is, with the very rarely do I, do I ever feel like it's the best defense, but I do feel like consistently it's always fine. It's cool, right? And if you're good in it, you, you can win, you can obviously be a really great competitive man player running that defense usually it's not glitchy it's just pretty fundamentally sound um and i i think really it, it, it it'll be even maybe even better this upcoming year because in 335 or nickel 330 cub it has those outside backers you could spread your d-line get your defensive lineman head up on the tackles right outside linebackers just outside the tackles contain them it's hard to break that contain okay i really do think that's going to be popular um the other thing, going back onto the offensive side of the ball now, right? We're kind of flip-flopping, zigzagging a little bit. But going back to the offensive side of the ball is I do think formations like tight offset, tight end, and gun tight will be less popular due to the fact that they don't have a line, uh, tight end on the line of scrimmage. Now, obviously, you can motion block somebody. You can motion somebody across and make them a tight end. Usually, people don't enjoy doing that. I think the value of a tight end on the line of scrimmage this year uh, being blockable is really is just extremely valuable and having a motion to do that every single play is just it really is annoying and limits your hand a lot on offense so I don't foresee those being 
as popular once we get deep into the year. Right, once we get into the meat of the season, you know, uh, October, November, December, January, February, March is really where you start seeing the true meta start really coming out, right? I think Gun Bunch is going to be popular again, especially because you could block your tight end once again in some of the Gun Bunches. I can't remember which ones, but in some of them. So I do foresee that being popular again, especially because comp players just love, bun or I'm sorry, Gun Bunch, uh, just because comp players love Gun Bunch and um, they, they, they'll, they'll make it work even when it's usually not. This Really, this past year is super surprising. I can't imagine we go back-to-back -back years where it's not a solid meta. Although, with that being said, audibling around is still going to be really popular. There's no doubt in my mind that audibling around, like, audibling around is going to be popular for the next, until they make a drastic change to how the audibling system works in Madden, which I don't see them doing anytime in the near future. Audibling around just makes the game way easier for yourself, truthfully. I, I think it really, really does. I don't know how good some of the X nasty formations are. Uh, there's a lot of new formations that are just called something X nasty. And I just don't know how good they're going to be. Some of the routes are cool, uh, but we'll obviously see. Uh, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I think they'll be kind of used a little bit inside of some of it. I don't foresee under center being good. Uh, I, I, I really don't think under center is really ever super super good truthfully um even in a game like man 20 the main reason under center was good was because of halfback abilities not because the formations themselves were crazy good it was just the run game was overpowered and it seems like so far due to no abilities in the game due, due to no obvious game breaking rushing abilities in the game the run game isn't overpowered not as of now and when the run game isn't overpowered, typically shotgun actually outperforms under center in terms of the run game. And that's just a fact of the matter. Consistently, think of bunch tight end inside zone. Think of gun tight offset tight end 01 trap. Uh, it's just consistently, it, it does. It just, it, it's how Madden just almost always, always, always works. Uh, that's kind of what I, I immediately really think. I think trips tight end will be good. Bunch tight end will be good. Bunch will be good. Those are always really good. I think U-Trips going to be another formation that people don't run that much, but it's always really, really good. I, mm, man, I, I really would like to see kind of a change in how they go about with some of the users because what I kind of think is going to happen right now is a lot of the route combos from last year are going to become meta again, especially post-slant, post-post, slant, slant. And it's because the users are going to be pretty much the same kind of clunkiness. I, I, I don't know yet, you know, it's it, once we get into Mutt, we'll be able to find out, but I don't know yet if, uh, or how good, rather, man-to-man uh, -man or zone's going to be. Zone seems like it's better, which I'm a big fan of. It's hard to see with man-to-man -man so far, especially because man-to-man -man is so dependent on what ability, how abilities interact with each other, and we've only really been able to play regs. So I, if I have to say one, I think man-to-man -man is going to be worse or less common this upcoming year that it was in Madden 23. But some also just to note and to keep in mind with all this, right, is the meta the first two weeks of the game, the first month of the game, is not the meta for the game, right? It's not. A lot of people will force, will, will try to put a square into a circle hole and run what they ran last year, A lot of, and, and when it's not the best. People always try to do this, including myself. We always try to just do the same thing we did last year, and if it works okay, we'll keep doing it until, some, uh, until the actual meta starts to develop. So just keep in mind, um, I am very curious about some of this stuff. Uh, I really do feel pretty strongly about the slot corners getting moved in and coming off the edges and contains. I think it's going to be really, really big to contain some of these kind of rollout happy offenses. And I think really the best offenses will be rollout happy play or players who can get outside the pocket and make big plays happen and then pass pretty well inside the uh, inside the pocket, which is why I'm really excited myself personally about uh, Gun Bunch tight end, honestly. I'm, I'm, I'm super excited about it because of that because I feel really confident both outside the pocket and inside the pocket, especially this past year, the entire, every offense was inside the pocket. Um, but yeah, you guys enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button, and I will see you all in the next one.